Hey Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Placement. You know to always take what resonates and then always head over and watch your Rising, Moon, and Venus sign readings for additional clarity. And at any time that you would like me to tune in to adjust your energy, you can click on the link below in the description box. It will take you over to my Etsy shop. I just um, added a variety of readings there, and you can see what goes with what you need clarity on. Okay. Main male, number one. Change. So there is change coming to your love life and unexpected income. All right, guys, we are going to see what is coming towards you. All right, your energy. Two of Cups. So Capricorn, you want to find that connection. You want to find that connection, that soulmate union. Someone that you just mesh with. Where the intimacy and the sex is just amazing. Where you just get one another. A lot of romance. The person coming towards you. Six of Swords. Could be Airy, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius but they could be a distance away from you. There could be some traveling involved, a body of water away from you and this person, especially if you you know, meet online or depending what the situation is. But Six of Swords is traveling towards you, wanting peace and harmony um, within a connection, wanting better memories, better um, experiences in their life when it comes to love. The current situation, the Queen of Swords. So again, more air energy. But I just feel that both of you individually have been through some times, some challenges when it comes to love. And with the Queen of Swords, you're both very happy being in your own energy, being single doing for yourself, providing for yourself. It's like in the connections that didn't work, you might as well make the best of it and just take care of yourself and what you feel drawn towards. But sometimes when you're this um, independent, it gives like the impression of being emotionally unavailable. Advice the world. Allow this brand new beginning to happen for you. Allow it to just move towards success. Whatever has happened in the past, just leave it there. Be that lesson, learn that lesson and close that chapter and allow this brand new beginning to happen. The overall outcome, look at this, the Ace of Chalices, the Ace of Cups. The romance, the happiness, the love, the never wanting to leave the bed. The stars aligning. Wishes being granted between the two of you. And the emperor. So, Capricorn, for some of you, it could be an Aries. But it could be an air sign, like I said. But the emperor knows their worth. They've worked very hard for what they have. And they don't want to play games. So this person coming towards you knows and is ready for the potential commitment. For the potential going the distance. Yeah, you've had to keep people at arm's length. It's like you showed up to put the fight into connections and I just feel like you were the one showing up putting in 
people that you've dealt with in the past didn't have all that to give. Didn't have that to give to the connection. So it's like you had to keep them at arm's length. The high priestess. Your person could coming towards you could be a very spiritual person. But they're in their power. They're very connected to the universe. They're very connected to their spirit guides. I feel like they already have peace and harmony in their life. But they wanted that added peace and harmony within a loving connection. Yeah, both of you have definitely worked on your finances and your career. You're both coming from a place of stability when it comes to finances. So it's almost like that energy of wanting one another, not needing one another. And this brand new beginning is going to be that healing energy that you both need. It's like if you felt like you were ghosted, if you felt like you were left out in the cold. It's going to be that healing, brand new beginning for both of you. Yeah, and I do feel like they, they're coming in quickly. In the past, I think you both had energies of someone coming towards you for love I mean, for passion, for romance, for sex. But they didn't want to be all in for a commitment. It's like the idea of a commitment or the idea of having intense feelings for, for someone scared the person. You know, commitment was like something that, uh, you know what? The sex is good. The romance is good. We date occasionally. Why can't we just keep it where it's going? I don't, I don't think they were, for some people, they weren't willing to allow you in, allow those feelings to happen. And I feel like your person has been through some similar situations. There is almost like an energy of holding back. I feel like there's someone who mysteriously, who keeps it to themselves that they have feelings for you. Capricorn. It's like they keep it hidden they keep it to themselves but that's changing there's going to be rapid movement here there's communication definitely coming in all right let's see yep equal give and take and you know what I just got with this? For those of you that donate your time around the holidays, um, like at food shelters and, you know, providing for the homeless with like Thanksgiving dinner or something like that with Meals on Wheels, I feel like you may meet someone there. With this equal give and take, with this paying it forward, you may meet them there. I don't know why that just popped in my head. Messenger of Wands. This has showed up twice. So Capricorn, it could be a fire sign rushing in. Yeah. Divine Union. This connection coming in, I feel like this person is holding out. They've got feelings for you. I feel like there is like a struggle to... Um, a struggle to tell you how they're feeling but it is it's their their intense feelings that they're having with temperance here i think you've been patient in terms of finding a solid connection in terms of finding a connection that makes you feel balanced that doesn't want that doesn't need you but wants you you've perfected your balance you've perfected your stability and, you know, you almost might keep yourself, like, to your, like, hold yourself back because you don't want to lose yourself after all the soul searching you've done, all the growth that you've 
come from? Yeah, I definitely feel like it's a fire sign. And what they want, look, unexpected income. What they want is something abundant. What they want is something grounded. For some of you, you may be having that secret admirer at work. Or like I said, like you're out there doing good for someone, paying you forward in some way, and you meet someone along that way. But they want something abundant. They want something solid. Where both people show up and not just one person. Where you both have something to offer. All right, that wanted to come out. So we're going to take it. All right, we'll cut it and then take a few more. All right, what did come out is our love will manifest through the union of heart and mind. Expanding these areas allows our love to grow. Now, guys, manifesting 1111 portal. If you want it sooner than later, manifest during that portal. And I just put yours, I think yours will be coming out earlier today, which is November 1st. I'm trying to understand how my thoughts create my reality. I know I need to stay positive. Are you? Look at this. That's that main male saying that. Our inner guidance is clear, but our ego is resisting it. Draw another card to clarify what you both might be resisting. You show up in my dreams. It helps me process buried memories. For some of you, it might be that you're resisting what your dreams mean. Resisting what spirit is trying to convey in those dreams. That's why I say keep a journal by your side. You're not, for some of, you know, I don't always remember every detail about my dreams. But what you do remember when you wake up, journal it. I'm afraid you're going to meet someone else before I'm ready to be with you for good. Well, we'll have to take that chance. Cross watchers. And then the other one. Love, like ours, can change the world. Eleven. See, there is this manifesting love here. This soulmate connection. Soulmate connection, guys. And I feel like that's what came in on your 1111 portal reading. Let's get just a few more. These decks are so big. I don't even know how to shuffle them the best way without them falling all over the place. But what's meant to come out will come out. Yeah, fire. Expect the unexpected. I am feeling fire energy. You may have fire in your chart, but I feel like the person coming towards you definitely has fire placement somewhere. Wait. Things will unfold naturally. Major opportunities coming. Celebrating the light. What's coming towards you is there's going to be warmth. There's going to be growth. There's going to be happiness. Self-interest, stealth, deceit. Remember over here, our ego is getting in the way. Like I said, at one point, I feel like, you know, somebody, like it, the energy of thinking on their own behalf and not as a couple. I feel like you had connections where, you know, you were all in, but they weren't. And here's communication. There's definitely communication coming in. All right, let's see if these resonate made at all. Passion. Insane chemistry. Liking each other equally. When there's chemistry and the sex is off the charts, that's when you know you got a win-win. Cupid's arrow. Have faith, love is coming. Surprise invitation. Many options. For those of you that are single, you could have many options when this soulmate connection comes into your life. What you, 
what you thought may have been just like a brief date, a one night stand. You may actually be coming back full circle to the into this person's energy again. Totally, totally capable in relationship evolving to the next phase. Healing your inner child growth. All right, guys. You'll always have to let me know how this resonates, but there sounds a lot like you're 1111. There's a soulmate connection coming in. They're manifesting you, so spend that time manifesting them. All right, love and light, guys.